I'm Mia Alice. I've got a name. Huh? I've lost all my memory somehow. I can only remember my name. Subject, Mia Alice. Humanoid, female, age 19, Earth years. High psionic weapon potential, hampered by compassionate nature. <laughs> My name's Roll Cran. Hello. Subject, Roll Cran, male humanoid, age 20 Earth years. Able to convert physical motion into psionic power. Good weapon potential, hampered by lack of self-confidence. Who are you? I, I'm Lamba, Lamba Nom. Subject, Lamba Nom. Female humanoid, age 14 Earth years. Excellent psionic weapons potential, severely hampered by immaturity. That'll teach him. My name's Pi Thunder. Now there are four of us. Subject, Pi Thunder. Humanoid female, age 23, Earth years. Lower psionic potential, compensated for by highly aggressive temperament. So, you owe all the powers you have to me, Dr. Tarsan, the most respected scientist in the universe. I have made you for all the greatest Esper warriors ever. With your power, What's this? I feel as if a memory is trying to force its way into my mind. It'll come to me in a second. Despite Dr. Tarsan's claim to have manufactured the four, Mia <gasps> found she was troubled by memories of an earlier yeah. time. A time yeah. before Dr. Tarsan and his psionic powers. My parents, I have a family. Unaware of why Tarsan wanted to turn them into weapons, Mia and her friends decide to escape from his ship and flee into deep space. We're free, free! Yes, but we have to have somewhere to go, okay? Anyone got any ideas? Yes, let's go to your home planet. Well, I sort of think we ought to explain why we've gone to Dr. Tarsan. Hmm? Well, it was just a thought. Meanwhile, in deep space, there were others interested in the four espers. Captain, Tarsan has developed human weapons which could destroy us, but they've escaped. Don't be a fool! Captain Garimoth cannot be destroyed! Silence! Is it possible human weapons exist? Captain, I swear it in my own blood. I'll find and kill them all. I, Gilberg, swear to kill the human espers and bring you their heads. The four fugitives found themselves hounded by Captain Garimoth's forces, and all the while their memories slowly returned. But they had little time for recollection, as others were keen that they should not remember. I don't believe them. They've destroyed my best droid. Eat lead, filthy Esper scum! <laughs> This hyper napalm will burn them to a crisp. They'll look like french fries when I finish with them. In the name of Captain Gary Moth, I hereby sentence you all to death by hyper napalm. Oh! Ha! Ah! Oh! I'm caught in my own fire! You might 
must know by now it wasn't Dr. Tarsan that made you what you are. We realized that. He merely recognized that you had enormous psionic potentials and that you could become the greatest weapons in the galaxy. And he erased our memories so that we couldn't resist his will. You should go to him. He can give you help to understand what it is that you have now become. But we just escaped from Dr. Tarsan. You must return. You must return. Infuriated by the Esper successes, Captain Gary Moth sent the cyborg Gilberg to Mia's home planet, Earth. There, he set about the destruction of the planet, knowing that Mia Alice would be unable to resist coming to the aid of her fellow human beings. If you don't come soon, Mia Alice, your home planet will be destroyed. Meanwhile, the Espers found out more about their pasts. Father, tell me, why? I sent you to Dr. Tarsan so you could hone your skills as a psionic weapon and rid the universe of that bloody tyrant, Captain Garamoth. So I'm a weapon. That's why Father sent me to Dr. Tarsan. If I use my powers to fight Captain Garamoth, Father will be happy. Rid the universe of that bloody tyrant! Hi, Rogue! We must hurry to save the Earth! Mia, about time! Mia! You must go now. Huh? Uh... I know you can defeat Garamoth before it's too late. Under the guidance of Dr. Tarsan, the four espers were able to unite their mecha to form Dangayo, the most powerful weapon in the universe. As Dangayo, they traveled to Earth to confront Captain Garimoth's mighty cyborg, Gilbert. That's your best shot, yeah? Whoa! He didn't even try to dodge our attack! What? Look out! Save me! I'll never ever surrender to you, Esper! But Mia! I can't stay! I've got to come along with you! But Mia, this is your home planet. Besides, we're only going back to see Dr. Tarsan. Yes, but... Well, you're the only friends I have. And I don't want to be here alone. And anyway, it takes all four of us to operate this mecha. Besides, what if Captain Garymoth? He's not going away, is he? So Dangaya will be needed for a good while yet. All right, Mia. Yes. Oh, Mia, are you really going to stay with us? You can't go back. You'll have to take your chances with the rest of us. I don't mind. And so the Dangayo team was formed. Four people with one mission. To overthrow the tyranny of Captain Garimoth's rule. Yes, 
Located the Dangayo team. Boring. Good, their training seems to be progressing very well. Mm hmm? What's wrong, Mia? Mia, if you don't destroy them, they'll attack you. I want to fight with them, but I can't remember how. Are you all right, Mia? Huh? I think I just blew my top. <laughs> and then I just felt this huge Now look, it really isn't good enough. You have to be able to control your powers or else... 
look, what's the big problem? She did it? Yeah, you're always saying that I don't ever use my psychic powers enough, and now you're complaining it's too much. No, well, obviously it's good that you can. And another thing, how come we haven't had a break from training yet? You promised we'd have a break. Yeah, and you promised you'd take me and roll back to visit our home planets. Remember that one, huh? Well, I was going to, but... I want to go home, and I would too if it wasn't for the fact that you've been and gone and erased our memories, though I can't even remember it. Mm. I want to go home! When are you going to take me back to my home? Oh, for God's sake, shut up and don't be such a baby. We need to get out to Sector 3, and right now, I think we've got trouble. What's that, you say? There's a problem in Sector 3? Yeah, the monitor shows three bogeys approaching. They're probably from Captain Garrymoth. What? Damn it! Here. You could always put a few more clothes on. Well, thanks. That's very helpful. Shh. We're nearly there. Looks like a wreck. I shouldn't think anyone got out of this alive. Huh? I can hear something. Mia, above you! Huh? Who are you from? Is it Gary Ma? Well, sort of, but we'd always plan to kill you people anyway. <laughs> Start with her, Dom. <gasps> Princess Lamba must die. You will all die. Princess Lamba first. What the hell was that? Hey, Num Nuts, get that out of my face! You're Shazara. I can remember you. Shut up, girl! Sorry, gotta go. Not so fast. Damn it. That strange voice. It means trouble. Hey, Mia, 
They mustn't get away. No, wait! Huh? You mustn't kill them! But Lamba! Please... This may seem pretty obvious, but they're getting away. We know. Oh! Hey, Lamba, what's the matter with you? I can feel all my past memories coming back to me. Lamba's memories are entirely accurate. She is a princess of the House of Chen, rulers of the planet Lilith. At least, they used to be until Captain Garimoth's fleet discovered Lilith in the Eighth Star System. And then I am sure you can guess what happened. That's incredible. I remember them. My parents and all the other people of Lilith, they made my life so happy and carefree back then. Then one day, Captain Garamoth's fleet appeared in our skies, and everything changed. I had to have my hair cut short to disguise my identity. Then I was sent away in an escape craft. My parents stayed behind to rally the people and fight Captain Garamoth. Only my handmaiden was sent with me. Her name was Shazara. And shortly after that, I found you cast adrift in deep space. And when I realized you had enormous psionic potentials, I immediately recruited you as a member of the Dangal team. Dr. Tarsan, what happened to my planet after you discovered my spacecraft? Don't ask. Well, what are we going to do about my servant Shazara? You mean that woman who tried to kill us all? She's been brainwashed by Captain Garamoth. That's why she didn't recognize me, and that's why you've got to help bring her back so she can find her memories. Well, I'm not really convinced. Look, that has to be it. Why else would she behave the way she did? Listen, I've only met her once, and I can tell you now, that woman is trouble. But we have to save her. She's very, very important to me. <sighs> Princess Lamba must die. Shazara thinks of Lamba as Princess Lamba. Why would she think that if she had been brainwashed? Fine, I don't need your help. I'll go and save her myself. Lamba! Let her go. So, Pai, could you hear Shazara's thoughts as well? If that woman's been brainwashed by Captain Garama, then I'm a sugar-frosted donut. With cream. No, Shazara's got it in for Lamba for some other reason. I'm sure Dr. Tarstan will be able to do something to help you remember. <laughs> <laughs> Your story is inaccurate. I remember everything. Then why would you try to hurt me and my friends? Because you're the most nauseating little brat in the universe! Yes, 
sit still and shut up, Angel Bones. <laughs> And thus, the whirly gig of time brings in his revenges. You must admit, there is some irony here. Your, your servant and friend has now sworn to destroy Dangayo. And that shouldn't be a great shock to you, Princess. You see, after you escaped, your father was defeated by Garamoth. The planet was then plundered and put to the sword. Very few people survived. Shazara was lucky. She was in space with you. But then, she saw Garamoth's final destruction of the planet Lilith. As you can imagine, she felt betrayed by your royal family for having allowed this to happen. In time, this sense of betrayal led to resentment. And from this resentment, she bred the bastard son of hate. Revenge! Let's go! Yo! Yo! Three enemy ships approaching. Correction, one ship being chased by two others. You what? This is total bullshit! We're being chased by two of Captain Garamoth's ships! Please, lower your force field and give us refuge! I repeat, please, lower your force field! Shazara... Doctor, you'll have to lower the force field to let them in! You've got to be kidding! It's obviously a trap! Don't worry, we can handle them! Hi! Hmm... We're ready! Come on, Doctor! Well, I don't know. Oh, all right then. I got them to take down their force field. Shoot to kill. Please, Zara, don't do it. This baby could really ruin somebody's whole day. Try this for size. But thank God you're alive. Regroup and prepare for another attack. Roger out. Mia, I'm sorry. Hey, you didn't do anything wrong. Shut up! Bandits at three o'clock! Let's finish this once and for all! Dangayo, your lives are all mine! Eat this! Damn it! Boost Knuckles! Ah! They've split open!
Princess Lamba. I've waited a long time for this moment, and now you will pay for the cowardice and treachery of the royal house of Chen. Oh, Shazara. Silence. Silence. By destroying you, I can purge myself. <laughs> Forgive me. Sorry. Shazara! Hey, Lamba! You gotta concentrate or else she's gonna tear us apart! Now die! Ah! Mia! Oh, Pai! Shazara, I understand your anger and sense of betrayal, and I apologize to you for anything my family may have done wrong, but we are still sworn to fight against Captain Garamoth. And while you fight under his flag, I can't surrender and must resist you with every means available. The blood of my people demands you must die. Hey, we're coming back online. Get ready to give them hell! God damn them! Prepare to launch nuclear torpedoes! Come on then, everybody! Sure thing! I'm ready! Let's go! Psychic wave! Launch the counterattack! Shazara! Huh? Launch the goddamn torpedoes! I can't. I can't. Okay, this is it. Wait, Raw, let me finish them. It has to be me. Let me finish them. Spiral Knuckles, fire! I beg your forgiveness, Lamba. Please, before I die. <laughs> it's all finished now, Lamba. You mustn't feel guilty about it. You've done the right thing. General Gachira, your people would appear to have failed in their attempt to destroy the Dangayo team. Well, never mind. I have here a gentleman who should make good your pathetic inadequacies. <laughs>
Resistance forces. This planet is now under the protection of Captain Garymoth. You don't fool us, you imperialist piece of shit! Captain Garymoth can stuff his protection up his ass and fuck off while he's at it! <laughs> I like you. You're funny. It's a shame I gotta kill you. Adios. <laughs> Hey, Metalhead, you think you're tough? Why don't you come and fight me? Who the hell is that? That's the Dangal team. They're robots, the strongest in the galaxy. They're the only real opposition to Captain Garamond. You must leave the planet of Latesia immediately and tell Garamoth who sent you! Wait, I recognize your voice. Yes, it's very familiar. I know, you're Roll Cran. Yeah, that's my name. Don't wear it out. Anyway, so what if it is? Ah, of course you won't remember me, will ya? You poor brainwashed little turd. The last time we met, you were part of this planet's resistance. I kicked your spotty little ass out into deep space. I should have killed you. It'd save me the bother now. Yeah? Well, there's no way you'll even get close to... Fuck! Catch you later, sucker! Roll, what are you playing at? Roll, roll, answer us! Roll, will you please say something? Roll, don't you ever freeze up on us like that again. You could have got us damn well killed. I mean, first you let him electrocute us, and then you just sit on top of a tower block like you're waiting for next year. Sorry. But he said I'd been a part of that planet's resistance movement. Then you got all the more reason to get off your backside and fight him, hadn't you? Pie! Shut up, Mia. You're always too much of a wishy-washy, bleeding-heart liberal. Well, it's just that Roll has got some of his memories back, and really we should try to help. Yeah. What happened wasn't really Roll's fault at all. Look, I'm sorry. But when he spoke, well, I know I knew him. I must return to Letizia and find out about my past life. Arst, Flash, give me your report. We have located the rebel Roar Cran. We understand he is now intending to return home to Letizia. Excellent. As he goes in search of his past, our agent will strike. General Datira, is it wise to trust such an important job to Gilberg, whose obsession with revenge against Dangayo is insane? That's exactly why I picked him. Gilberg will not rest until Dangayo is destroyed, regardless of cost to himself. Now you two must return to Latizia, where Gilberg will give you your final instructions. Is that clear? Hey, Flash, you burst. Yes, yes, sir. sir. Understood. Understood. <laughs> Move a muscle in your toast. Now get off the bike. Real slow. Roll. Roll, Cran, it's really you. Hey, get back. Oh. Ah. So, you're the famous Roll Cran. What the hell are you doing back here? No, Kilkaroo. 
Ah, oh, shut up, Mito. He's a traitor. What the hell do you mean by coming back here? You were once a great warrior, the Resistance's greatest fighter. You rose through our ranks and became our undisputed leader and champion. The men adored and respected you. Then one day, you deserted us. You assassinated your two right-hand men, Barst and Flash, depriving us of all effective leadership. Unable to organize ourselves properly, we were sitting ducks for Garamond. Stormtroopers overran the armies of Letitia in two weeks once you deserted us. Bastard! Kilkuru, you don't know what you're saying. Oh yeah? Well, we'll see what the court-martial thinks about it. Get on your feet, you worthless piece of shit. I said get up, asswipe! There'll be no running away this time. I'll make sure the judge has you dancing a merry jig on the end of a rope. That is, if I don't decide to kill you Wait, first! Kilkuru, I understand your feelings, but this man may be of some use to us on my mission. You can't mean... bring him with us? Yes, that's exactly what I mean. Right now, we need every man we can get. Rogran, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Skelton. How do you do? I'm willing to overlook your past if you're prepared to accompany me on our next mission. We have to infiltrate Captain Garamuth's fortress. If we can liberate our prisoners of war, we'll have a fighting force capable of expelling Garamuth's army of occupation from the planet. I'm offering you a chance to undo some of the damage you've done. If you have any feelings for the people of Letizia, you'll come with me. You're going to do what? We're going to infiltrate Captain Gary Moss' base so we can liberate all our people held hostage there. Ro, surely you must be mad. Well, maybe, but I have to do it for my old comrades. You see, it seems I deserted once in the past, and by doing this, I can help to make amends. I won't tell Dr. Tassan what you're up to, but do look after yourself. I will, don't worry. Bye, Mia. Ro? Yes, Mido? I'm sorry about Kilkaru. He can get a bit carried away with himself sometimes, you see. Well, I'm just happy to be back. You'll need to be on your guard all the time now, because there's only Skelton who seems prepared to believe we can trust you. I'm sorry about that. You don't have to apologize to me. I always thought we'd be able to trust you. Oh, Mido. It'll be because Mia went and kept a stupid goddamn secret from the rest of us. And never mind that, what's gonna happen to Dungayo? Oh, but Pi, I am, um, well... Hopefully nothing will happen to the Dungao team. But Pi is right, you should have told us. I'm sorry, Doctor. You already know Rol was once part of the Resistance, fighting to save the Tija from the clutches of Garamoth. I'm afraid not everyone was as loyal to the cause as him. Why? What happened? As far as I know, he was captured by two double agents. They were men he trusted. They put him into a deep state of cryogenic suspension and sent him into space. It was supposed to be a kind of death without end. Fortunately, I came across his spaceship. When I thawed him out, I realized his psionic potentials and made him part of the Dangal team. These details I have simply because they were in his memory before I erased it. I had hoped 
You'd never find out about this aspect of his past. Ro, you're in danger. Skelton said the main computer terminal was back here. Strange. It just looks like a dead end. Who's there? Hey, Foka, kill Karu. Kill Karu. Ah. Who's there? Flash. It's been a long time, and you remembered us. You're supposed to be dead. Now there's a funny thing. We thought you were the one who died. Hmm, I think perhaps you should. Uh, uh, uh. Ah, skeleton, huh? Wrong again. It's me. You know, Raul Cran, I've been looking forward to this moment for a very long time. Gilbert, it's not possible. How did you ever survive? I have survived because my hatred of you and the Dangao team is so strong it will defy the grave. Flash, when you kill him, make it hurt. It'll be my pleasure. Uh, ah! Have you finished with him? Now you're my bait to snare the rest of Dangayo and that mere Alice. And now you're back in cryogenic suspension, there's nothing you can do about it. <laughs> ah! <laughs> ah, hello there, Dangayo. You must be glad to see me again. I've been so looking forward to seeing you all and catching up on your news. Oh, by the way, your friend Raul Kran is already enjoying my hospitality. Perhaps you care to drop in and join him. Oh, Raul! Ah, yes, Mia Alice. All right, what do you want? I want you to come and join me. So make sure that you come alone. And oh, yes, please don't bring any guns, understand? Now, should you decide not to come, then I'll get all cross and have to kill Master Raul Cran, and that would be a tragedy. <laughs> I can't believe Gilbert's still alive. I'm so scared. Here goes. I've got to save Roll Cran. Please come and join our party. All right, now you've got me. You have to let him go. No, this is my party, and I'll decide what games we play. Games? You're a madman. What do you mean you're going? Did it leave this ship undefended? I can't possibly allow that. But Doc 
Doctor, we've got to help them to escape. We've got to do something. Don't be ridiculous. You can't just charge in there. That's exactly what Gilberg wants you to do. He'll kill you all. Dr. Tarzan, if we do nothing, he'll kill them both for sure. So we have to help. Without them, we can't form up Dungayo. And how likely is it that Gil will leave us alone in these circumstances? You've cost me my eye, my body, and some might say my sanity. Now you might expect me to be quite pissed about it. Well, frankly, I am. But that's not why I'm hurting you now. No, I just enjoy torturing young girls. I know it's sick, but everyone needs a hobby. <laughs> Now I know this is all just a bit of fun, but I'm afraid there was a serious reason for your visit here today. Namely, that I'm gonna kill you. Bro! Bro! Please, you've got to help me, Bro! Nice try, but he won't be able to hear telepathic messages he's been put in a coma. Personally speaking, I'm hard-pressed to see a difference from when he's awake. Now where was I? Oh yes, I was just about to kill you. Now do keep still. Struggling always makes it worse. I want you to know that I'm enjoying this immensely. Let her go! I said let her go! Fool! Flash! Marst! Get after them! You must destroy them completely! Aye, aye, aye sir! Alright! Let's go! Form up Dangaya! I nearly had them. Ah oh, well, the chase is better than the catch. Damn it, they're back! Right, you've had it this time, Gilbert! Hey, look out! Somebody's coming in behind what? us! Gilbert, now's your chance to escape! Yeah, that's right. We'll sort this out for you. But you die! Tangayo Beam! Ah, what the? <laughs> surprise, surprise! It's your old friend Barst. I don't know about you, Barst, but when we were in the Resistance, 
I think this idiot was the only one who believed in the cause. Yeah, and look at him now. He still thinks he can win. What a jerk. So right from the start, you never ever believed in the cause. I think I've had enough of you, scum, so it's no more Mr. Nice Guy! No more, nice guy. What the? What the hell was that? Someone, please help! Ah! Dangayo? Yes, everyone is all right. Thank God it's all over. Now can we go home? Yes, we can. Thank goodness. Oh, thank goodness. I've never been so worried in the whole of my life. I owe you one, Mia, because without you, I'd be dead. That's all right. No, I really mean it. I'd be dead if you hadn't come to the rescue, Mia. No, you would have been all right, Roll. You're much too cute. Mia? Woo! Cupid's arrow strikes again! Quiet! Look out! Now that I bothered to get dressed up for the occasion, shall we dance? Incredible, he just keeps coming! We can't possibly manage another fight! With our energy levels so low, Gilbert could destroy us easily! This doesn't look too good. We've got to fight! Let's go! Prepare to die! He's fast! I hope you believe in God, that guy. Oh, you're gonna meet him. Who is that? How true. Goodbye, dickhead. Warning. The main generator is breached. The ship will explode in five minutes. Warning. The main generator I've got to escape! Right! That does it! I'm minutes. off! Warning. He's attacked the main ship! We've got to distract Gil! 
Want some more? Good. Roll! You've got to launch a counteroffensive! I can't! We're too low on power! Bye-bye, fuckers! Can you think of anyone who has as much fun as I do? Sangao team! Sangao team! <laughs> Come in, Sangao team! Huh? It's a doctor! I'm glad to see you're all still managing to survive! Doctor, you're in great danger. You must escape. I can't. My escape pod is beyond repair. I'm finished. Goodbye. I'm going to miss you all. But, Doctor! You can't! You're not finished! Now pay attention, this is important. You must forget about me and use all the power you have left to destroy Gilberg. I will then fire the warp beam to re-energize you. Doctor! The warp beam could repair the damage done to your escape pod! No way! If I use any of the power, there won't be enough to repair Dangao after you hit Gil with the psychic wave. And believe me, I want you to hit that bastard hard! But Dr. Tarsan, you know you'll be killed. That can't be helped. Dangao's survival must take precedence over mine. Doctor! My goodness, the Dangao team is still alive. Never mind, at least it gives me an opportunity to kick them while they're down. Oh, ready! No, stop! Then Gaio can't just desert him! Mia, there's nothing we can do to help him. Correct! Now listen! I want you to unite and show me Dangao's power by destroying Gilberg! <laughs> I can't believe this! Here he comes! Let's blow this mother apart! I'm the one who's supposed to win this fight, not bloody Dangayo. You swipes! Ah, oh, excellent! Well done, Dangao! The Dangayo generator's gone critical! Oh, God help us! God help us! Okay, here we go! Fire warp beam! I've done it. They're safe. And Gilbert's dead. At last, I can rest. Well, I'll be damned. So they had a warp beam. I must apologize, Captain, but if it hadn't been for that bloody warp beam, I would have had them. 
Mind you, at least it costs some their beloved Dr. Tarsan. Yes, that was a worthwhile accomplishment. However, I'm given to understand your actions led to the blowing up of General Gatira. Sorry. Well, you needn't be. If he was still alive, I'd have him executed for the failure of his plan. You've saved me the bother. As a reward, I'm giving you his job. Thank you, Captain Garamoth. You can be sure I won't let you down. So, Dangayo, the game's not over yet. You may have been lucky this time, but I only have to be lucky once. <laughs> Ha 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 